Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, don't cast a ball but both for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be talking about Blackpool Pleasure Beach and about the closure of Grand National for the rest of the 2021 season due to planned maintenance. Now, before we get started talking about this, make sure you do like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe if you are new around here. Click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video. Also, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas. And for now guys, let's talk about the planned closure of the Grand National for the rest of this season. So the Grand National will be closed for the remainder of the 2021 season for planned maintenance, as officially announced by Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Now for those of you who need some stats on this ride, this ride first opened back in 1935 with a length of 3,302 feet, a height of 62 feet, a speed of 40 miles per hour and a duration of 2 minutes 20. Built by Charles Page, uh, this has a very interesting history about it, including a very particular incident, uh, which happened on the 20th of May 2004, where a fire destroyed the Grand National Station and damaged the two nearby rides, Trauma Towers and Alice's Wonderland. The Grand National reopened on the 28th of October 2004, after repairs were completed. Now, the Grand National is a very historic ride with a very historic background. Ground. But what does this planned maintenance mean for the attraction? I'm going to be sharing my thoughts about it right now because I've got a very few interesting discussion points about this news. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. That is looking at the closure at the moment this season of the Grand National at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Now, this is an interesting one because last time we had a planned maintenance closure or some kind of closure of a coaster for maintenance reasons, it was the Wild Mouse, and it never operated again, and it was demolished over a closed season. So, obviously, there is that risk of, is this the end for the Grand National? Um, you've got to remember, though, it is a listed attraction. So, there is, this, there is the low risk of it being removed entirely. Um... Like I said, I think this is just planned maintenance, this one. I think there's nothing to worry about with this one. Um, but that's just my personal opinion anyway. I think they may do some initial repairs to it, some TLC here and there, uh, just to make it run better, I guess. Um, but the fact we're now getting a planned maintenance now has to be closed for the rest of this season is... Um, it is difficult to take because the, the first one is always the tough one because you know there could be more to follow if it doesn't succeed. And uh, it may not be long now before the Grand National retires altogether. You know, it may retire. So, um, but I think Blackpool Pleasure Beach wouldn't... I know it's different with the Wild Mass, etc. But I think the Pleasure Beach wouldn't retire Grand National without any kind of final ride, surely. Surely not again like the Wild Mass situation. So... Fingers crossed this isn't completely the end for the Grand National. Of course, people can speculate. People can, um, you know, think what's going to happen. In my opinion, I think it's just maintenance here and there. They'll reopen it next season. But I wouldn't be surprised if there's more to it than this. I wouldn't be surprised if this could be the end for the Grand National as well. Uh, it's got rougher over the years from reviews on it. I rode it just a few years ago, and it was, it was rough in places. So... I, I, I think that personally, you know, maybe it could be the end for the Grand National. Look at the Wild Mouse situation and how that was originally due to be maintenance. And, um, you know, look how that ended. So, I think there's this real... There is still a set... Even, it be, even with it being a listed attraction, there's still this risk to it that Grand National's coming to an end. Um, so, we'll follow the latest updates, you know, as we get it. Uh, but fingers crossed, we'll uh, we'll see what happens. And fingers crossed, the Grand National can remain as it is. You know, they'll they'll be enthusiasts calling about on social media for an RMC treatment of Grand National. But you got to think about it as, you know, it's it's really not going to happen, is it? It's not going to happen. Um, but 
I'd be very interested to see what happens to this and what kind of maintenance they'll do to it if it is just planned maintenance that isn't the end for the Grand National. So, uh, very interesting story there. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coach Gel. Keep living the coast life. Hope you like the return of the old logo and the old intro. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Blackpool tastic day. I'm just this day, I got out of bed and looked out of the big blue window and saw the sun in the sky. So I checked out of my room, met my friends, walked to the park and got myself a wristband. I was there all day and I walked around the park, rode the rides.